Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video I will be sharing with you guys swatches of the new Rouge Artiste lipsticks by Makeup Forever. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. So this is one of the most interesting products that I came across during the eye mats and I thought I would share this with you guys first. It's also still to be released so I think a lot of you guys will truly be interested in seeing how they swatch. So it's not a review, I'm just going to show you guys how they look and then show you swatches of the shades I got. So these are the new Rouge Artiste lipsticks by Makeup Forever and I got five shades. I think they're going to be retailing for $27 and I was very happy with the selection I got given that I only chose for less than five minutes because IMATS was very crazy this year. I mean the last time I went was 2010 given that but still usually with Vancouver it's a lot more mellow and chill and you're not really trying to kill each other in a line or to get to the counter but it really did feel like that and it was very reminiscent of when I went to the makeup show in LA but anyway that was a long segue I just want to show you guys how they look so a lot of the new products they have now have the red packaging in the bottom packaging they also have it with a water blend foundation which looks like this and I was able to get one close to my shade as well so the selection that I got obviously two neutrals, two mid-tone pinks, and then one statement color or shade. The selection of the shades I got actually had different or varying finishes as well and I believe they're also indicated in the numbering and then they usually, it has a numbering here if you guys can see, but it also has a letter in the beginning. I noticed that with a matte, it did start with an M. C stands for satin, I'm not sure. This is my it was my first pick and it was the neutral that I think was very close to a neutral that I liked and this is C106 this is how the bullet looks like you have makeup forever here and then you know nothing too fancy it's not magnetic or anything it still is very much trying to be like a pro brand and then you just have the embossed logo lip logo that they have this one right here so here are the different shades that I got. I'm going to begin from the top and this is C106 which is a satin. M200 which is this one here, the second swatch. The third one is another matte and this is a um, bright pink. M201 which is like a very bright pink and this is the one in the middle right here. It's a cool toned brighter pink. C208 and this one is more of like a fuchsia pink. It has a violet undertone to it. It's still a cool toned pink so this is the one right here, the fourth one. This is C208 and last but not the least is M500 which is the burgundy kind of wine maroon shade and it's this one right here it's an it's a matte so I will show you how each one of these apply starting from the lightest to the darkest
with the M500, the last one, which is like a statement color, it was very hard to apply and I, you really wouldn't need a lip liner for this because um, even my application wasn't so good right now, but just to show you guys. So those were the quick swatches of all the shades, you guys, and I have the darkest one right now, which is the matte or the M500. So that is about it. Those are the swatches of the five new Rouge Artiste lipsticks from Makeup Forever that I have, and it was a good range of satins and mattes. So that is about it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys found this video interesting and informative and I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening.